This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you tap that like button, tap that subscribe button. Make sure you obliterate the like button, please. And uh, let's get right into the news. Very interesting night. I don't know how many of you were tuned in. Uh, we will get to the Minneapolis thing in a second. Uh, discuss that because, wow. <laughs> I mean, I understand, but wow. Uh, so anyways, we'll start with um, Troy Ave. And, and again, rest in peace to George. Okay. Yeah, I got to say that before anything because that's what really matters there. Someone, someone lost their life for no reason. And that's what sparked this. So it's really that officer's fault. I just have to say that before we even start. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Troy Ave isn't doing anything great. Okay. So mind you, he's kind of used this whole thing to push his career. He's used the whole being a tax stone thing to release multiple mixtapes in the beginning years. Um, now he, he's kind of fizzled out with music where people don't really care anymore. I mean, think about it. It's been four years. Tax Stone's in jail. Okay. Understandably, right? Troy Ave is out. No case, I don't think. We haven't seen him go to court recently or anything, any developments on that. Tax Stone, I think he had some part of his case in November, and then he has a second part. His is complicated because it involves a weapon, you know, like a certain kind of weapon and a bunch of stuff. So Troy Ave on his recent podcast called for Jim Jones to do something to Takashi over over uh, Mel Matrix. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you sound like a clown. I'm going to be honest. Sounds like a clown right now. Sounds like a clown, bro. Like, I like his music. He's the dude figures things out all the time. OK, he's a hustler. But dude, what are you doing? Like, I guess he just did that for. Um, shock value you know he talked about the takashi situation and that no, nobody's going to do anything to him probably nobody will do anything to him right but the funny thing about the whole jim jones thing is that dude jim uh takashi had nothing to do with mel going to jail mel was going to jail because of ceo chris he was doing business with an informant called ceo chris those are his charges the other charges, the, the, the other dudes like uh, Nuke and all them, Crippy, they're there because of Takashi. Shadi's there because of Takashi. Okay? That, you know, but they, they also because of their own actions, but also because of him. You know? So, I don't know what he's talking about. Obviously, he doesn't know what he's talking about. So, which makes sense. Right? And, you know, he says all these people left him in Irving de Plaza, but, you know, him and Taxstone were just as bad, clashing heads, for clashing at each other for no reason. Just for the mere fact they just didn't like each other. No real issue. And look what happened. And innocent people got hurt that night. So, and it could have been a lot worse than what it was. I mean... And, you know, and all the, and a, an innocent person passed away that night. Banga, his family. He had a kid, and that's because of Taxstone and Troy Ave. Both of them. Both of them. So, it's hard to listen to what this guy's saying. Then we got Cardi B. Okay, so her last album was 2018. She had a baby. There's been a lot of rumors lately of her having issues with um, Atlantic. Uh, Joe Budden's kind of fueled these. They, he recently got Mike Kaiser, who's a guy that works at Atlantic, on the phone to discuss it. And he said, Cardi's a superstar. We're going to treat her as such. Period. Uh, she will be taken care of. That's my word. And said, uh, Roddy Rich is another person that's on Atlantic as well. Um... I think, I don't know what's happening with Cardi because she did, even though she released two singles that didn't go like amazing, like the last money went well, but that was right off of her success, right? Um, then she came out with another follow-up single that didn't do as well, but it still did 85 million streams just, just on Spotify, right? It's called Press. 
And they might have not liked it. They don't like everything, right? But Invasion of Privacy, the album did really well. Uh, Money, which was released the same year, did really well. She didn't let up. And then Press last year was the only thing that she released from her, you know, from her by herself. Um, and it didn't do so well. But that wouldn't be enough for the, the building not to back her anymore. Um, and she stays, stays relevant. So there's no reason for the building to not be behind her. So I think we'll be seeing an album from her very shortly. Uh, Then let's talk about this. So George, he lost his his life for no reason. I mean, they uh, they pulled him over. They put him in cuffs and then they, you know, we, we saw what happened, you know, nasty. Uh, so George Floyd, he passed away. People took to protesting as they should. They went to the police stations as they should. They went to the cop's house as they should. Okay. The cops got fired. And then yesterday, um, the mayor also called for their arrest, but I think it takes the district attorney or something to file something like that. And that didn't happen. And it should have. Then the president tweeted out that the FBI will be looking into it. Um, But obviously not enough action. And what do you think is going to happen? Then then other groups get involved. Um, A lot of people flew to Minnesota. And I would would bet that this is kind of like the whole incident that happened during the Mike Brown situation, where a lot of people come from out of town and, and start destroying the city. And they start they start it up. They start the looting. They start, you know, businesses, people losing their businesses. I can understand the cop cars. I can understand that. You know what's crazy? They went to the officer's house. He's not even an officer. We know what it is. He's a criminal, right? They went to his house and there was like 100 cops protecting his house so they weren't even protecting the businesses in minneapolis right they were protecting this cops well this criminal's house sick you know like the whole thing is sickening man i i wish i never saw the video and saw the cop's face because i can't get it out of my mind nobody can it's pure evil um and you know Unfortunately, Minneapolis is pretty much gone now. They they burned it to the ground. It's over. They destroyed it. But you know what? You know whose fault it is. It's the cop, man. Because this sparks something within people. Period. People of all races were there last night. To lash out. You know? And, and, and there's no organization for it. And, and it just gets out of hand. You know, it starts with the police stations, it starts with the guest house, and then it and then it trickles to the you know auto zone, the target, and and it gets out of it gets out of whack. And um, you know, this is what happens when you don't take action quickly, man. You know, the the, the a- anybody else would have been in cuffs right away. You know, these guys don't. They just lose their jobs. No, they should have been in cuffs the same day. Um. It's hard. I don't even know. It's, it, 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 so many things are unjust. And this is a major one. So just know that, and like, if you're anybody, like, everybody feels the same way about this situation. I don't care what race they are. Uh, the, the only people that don't are people that, like, uh, can't, they don't understand life. And maybe they're, maybe they're, you know, the other way. I can't really say the term, but, you know, they're... They don't like people of certain shades. So, you know, it's like, honestly, everybody that I know feels the same way. And I've spoken to other people and it's just, it's disgusting, man. So let's hope that um, by the weekend, at least, I mean, I I can't believe it's going to take that long that something happens where, you know, justice is being served. Um, 
I love you guys and you stay safe, okay? Please stay safe. Um, and uh, I'll check you guys in the next video.